All right, there we go. And first things, guys, I'm going to apologize. Uh, which side is it? This side over here? Because I got a light up above me that's... Um, it kind of doesn't work the greatest with my green screen. So hopefully it uh, doesn't cause too much of any issues. So for those of you guys that have uh, are new to the channel or have been part of the channel for a while that have never seen any Escape from Tarkov, um, it's a instance-based survival shooter and probably one of the best shooters out there currently this game is top notch so um we're gonna i'm gonna go in here and kind of show you my inventory screen um this is just stuff that i have i really haven't done anything on this player yet uh it's pretty much basic start um i just got a few pistols this is basically the gear that i started with um a few rifles and stuff down here with a couple extra magazines but we're probably going to go in with this ak-74u uh, a couple magazines uh, because this is actually the first time I've actually played the game since they instituted a bunch of new changes so it makes it so you actually have to manually reload your magazines and stuff uh, while you're out in the field so it makes it uh, a lot tougher and stuff so I do not think I have any armor I don't know if I actually have any access to any armor yet do, 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 do. Don't think so. No, I don't. Do not have any access to any armor. Except this helmet, maybe? Full pack riot, let's buy that. That way, at least my character has some uh, some head armor, I guess you could say. So, um, fuck it. Do I got any more AK ammo? I don't think so. Um, let's just do it. Actually, let's go into a scav raid first. So, for instance, you guys will see this. This is my character, the PMC, and this is a scavenger. You can actually spawn in as a scavenger on the map. Uh, every 10 minutes and whatever gear this guy has on him is on his character You don't have to worry about losing any of your own gear when you go in as a scav uh, We're gonna go in on do 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 It's going on customs 8 o'clock in the morning And let's do it Yo, Steven have you seen this game like have you ever seen this game in action? It's good man, it's really good I might actually real quick try to maybe make that green screen a little bit better. Yeah. Never heard of it? What? Yo, wait till you see this, dude. Wait till you see it. If you're a fan of shooter games, wait till you see this, dude. It is so good. What would you compare it to best shooter game wise? Arma. If any of you guys have played like Arma, uh, it's this is basically Escape from Tarkov is basically a hardcore military simulator. Um, the way the ballistics works, the way the health model works, <clears throat> and shit. I forgot to bring in any medical stuff. Escape from Tarkov? Escape from Tarkov's been out for a while. This is actually in early access beta. And it's raining. And it's not raining. Oh my god, dude. It has been so long since I played. This is like, this like wigs me out a little bit. change something real quick everything's on high where's the head bob head bobbing that's gotta go away maybe that's why yeah that's why that's why it was looking weird
hopefully we don't run into anybody like super geared because I will be fucked. Just wondering if it's coming to Xbox. Uh, no. This is not coming to Xbox, but uh, the one that is coming out later this year for for Xbox Early Access, like the game preview, is called Vigor. Same concept. It's an instance-based survival shooter. Is that not? There's somebody around here. Is this a survival shooter? Yes. So for instance, you guys will see when I tab. Why did it? Oh, I'm a scavenger. My health, and then my hydration, my, my stuff like this. So my hydration, the longer you're in a raid, the more your hydration goes down. I'm just looking for some some small things to loot. And these are all just little item PVE or PVP both. There's actually um, computer players on the map that are called scavs that are basically the same as me and currently because I'm a scav they're friendly to me if I shoot at them any of the scavs they will turn hostile and they will try to kill me and then there's also other actual players on the map that you can get into engagements and stuff with but the chances of me going up against a PMC which is another character another actual player I would probably lose My point exactly. There was a dude outside that heard me walking around and killed me. Rambo. Rambo 828. Killed me. That's an actual player. Scared the shit out of me. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. That scared the shit out of me. Alright. So let's just go in with the AK. Yeah, dude, the, like, bullet bullet damage in this game is, since I didn't have a helmet, he could have easily just shot me in the face one time, dead. One time. Like, it, it, this is just the way that works. Like, especially here, because I don't have any chest armor. Um, I gotta make sure I grab some meds real quick before I go into this raid. Do I have meds up here? I got a splint. So, let's take couple of these let's put it in here and this is a gamma container this container no matter what is in this container when I die I don't lose it everything up here I will lose if I die but this container if I die I won't lose it I'm gonna put the morphine in there and these are bandages these will help heal me um, I'll probably take this too just because um, morphine makes it so for instance if I get shot in the leg or something I will I won't be able to run but if I pop this morphine it will allow me to run but I will slowly take damage because my leg will be broken so it's it, like I said it's a hardcore it's a hardcore shooter so that was god damn it scared the shit out of me dude that's what I'm talking about fucking jump scares in this game because there's a lot of people now because I'm way behind on the curve like this patch for this game like the last time there was a wipe every time there's a wipe basically everybody starts all over it's been it's been a while so 90 percent of the real players have like full gear like lots and lots and lots of gear so well then let's real quick let's just roll into the factory i'll let you guys see the factory um let's ensure wow twenty three thousand to ensure all We don't need to insure the key bar, do we? Eh. 
and this is insurance so if you insure your items before you go into a raid if you die and for instance there's a timer in the raid so if there's it's an hour long raid and say nobody finds your guns nobody finds your stuff or people do find it and they die before they leave the raid so basically if the timer in the raid hits zero and any of these items that you've insured were still in the raid you'll get them back so this will be interesting it's been forever since i've played factory and this is a all close quarters inside, inside of a building map. I kind of wish I, 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 I really should throw on my other headset. So how does the loot, this there like different types and rarities of the weapons? No, I will show you that in a second. Basically this is, this is a stock weapon. This is how it comes stock. Um, and then you can completely modify it, like completely take it apart. New barrels, new suppressors, new muzzle brakes, um, new magazines, new sights, new uh, stocks. Like you can, you can, tr you can trick the crap out of your weapons. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die in here because I don't have the right headset on for this game. I need to put on my Astro. Somebody's got some big guns up in here. So one thing about this map too, all it is is people listening for each other, realistically. Hold on, I know why it looks different. I don't want to play like t super slow so you guys like think it's boring but there was a gunfight that just went down I don't think somebody died because <laughs> there's no more shooting somebody died yo Tyler thank you for the sub bro yeah cyberpunk looks really good I want to get into like an engagement so you guys can see it. Yeah, I, 
I need I need to put on my other headset. why I don't like I'm not the fan the most big fan of this map all it is, is people listening for each other yo ho RC what's up man it's morning might be it's probably afternoon over there for you something there's usually supposed to be like six people six real players in a raid like this I have no idea why we heard like two people shooting back and forth and now it's super quiet kind of worries me I don't have a lot of gear There's a scav. See? It's these dudes just sitting there, Netnix. He's just sitting there with Comtax on. And what Comtax are makes it so you can hear more. You can hear, hear people's footsteps more. It's just, I had no chance. He was fully armored, fully geared. And I had a baby AK. Oh, man. See, this is a big armor. These things here are big armors, but there's no point in putting them on right now because I don't have a whole lot of stuff. Let's just throw on a pistol, a couple magazines. It's kind of bugging me that that green screen is like that. Might actually try to. Oh no! Now you can see my basement. That's a little bit better. It's a little less bright. Oh, dude, it's been a minute since I played this game. Honestly, this was probably a bad idea to stream this this morning. I, I was tired. I was tired, but my kid woke me up, and now I couldn't go back to sleep, so... Thought I would, uh... Thought I'd stream something different on the channel, because this is definitely a game that I would like to cover in the future. Oh, Jesus. terrible spawn for me because all I have is a pistol oh my 
my god, dude. This is frustrating. The struggles. <laughs> god damn it, dude. There was a fully geared guy laying dead. I saw him. And then that dude was like guarding his fucking body. And I almost killed that dude with a pistol. That dude's just a bad player. He's not very good. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, but he had armor. I was going for the hate, the, the face hitbox. Is I, I waited too long because it's it's that's a new feature that I actually haven't played with yet. So for instance, before like you'll let me go to my character here. Character. Okay. See how he's wearing a helmet. Before this helmet, what it used to do, the last time I played, so there's been an update since the last time that I played, that if you were wearing a helmet like this, if you shot somebody in the face, the helmet, even though visually it doesn't cover the face, visually it actually did, but now if your face is showing, there's actually a face hitbox, and that guy had an open face helmet. If I would have put a bullet right here, I would have killed him. Instantly, I would have killed him, but... When the last time I played the game, that wasn't a thing. So I, it just naturally wasn't a thing that I wanted to do. Is like aim for the face, because before it wouldn't have did anything. So, all right, let's try that again. I almost fucking killed that dude. Almost. As you can see, it's a, it's a hardcore game. Like I would have, uh, it would have took everything I had, if I would have killed him, to get out of that map because. I was hurt. I was really hurt. He hit me. He hit me hard. Oh, and I've been out of the game a little bit. I used to play this game all the time with a group of guys, and we would go into maps just like fully decked, full armor, you know, M4s, you know, hundreds and hundreds of rounds of ammo, just fully decked to the teeth. And it was fun. I just haven't played this game in a little bit. And this is a game that I definitely wouldn't mind playing on the channel. Covering the updates and stuff on the channel. Especially for those of you guys that haven't seen it before. It's a really good game. A very, very good game. It's hard. Um, Mikey. Yo, what's up, man? It's, it's a hard game. But I enjoy it. I've just been out of the game for too long and I'm kind of shitty right now. <laughs> I'm kind of bad at the game right now, so. Good morning, man. Wherever you are in the world, might be afternoon. It's morning here. Fuck. This is another bad spawn. Because I don't have any, like, real stuff. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna get lit up. There's gonna be somebody in here, you watch. Worst comes to worst, I'll start moving around with just a hatchet. Those are distant grenades, if you guys could hear that. If we can find anything. Please don't get shot in the back. Remember if there was anything there or not.
Shit. I gotta turn off my morning alarms. <laughs> yeah, we killed somebody. Take his pistol. Put, um, take his dog tag. See if he had any meds. Probably just magazines. Ooh, he did have meds. Discard that so I can reload. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with the reloads, though. Like, for instance, do that. Wrecked! He says wrecked. What's up? Yo, Abaxis, what's up, man? They probably did bed. Oh my god. While I'm reloading, there's a scav. There's a scav. That was a computer player. That was a computer player. I have never in my entire life seen the computer player that side of the map. Ever. Oh god. Yeah, you can see when he screams in like Russian and his name is like this that's a scav oh my god well the small glimmer bright side of this is we got out with that other dude's pistol E226 is that what I was using E226 Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. You see, this game is not forgiving at all. <laughs> but I got his dog tag, which I can sell. What level was he? Uh, level 6. So it's not going to sell for too much. But the game itself just came and said, I can psych in Russian. <laughs> I had no idea you played other games than State of Decay 2. Oh, dude, I, I love playing other games. I, I used to be a beast at this game. Absolute beast. But I don't have any gear. You can see here I don't have any gear because technically I haven't played this game very much since the last update. There was a wipe, which means everybody, you know, all your stuff got reset and whatnot. I'm actually going to take in a backpack, though. I'm going to buy a backpack off this guy. And... Buy a helmet. That way at least it'll protect me if I get shot in the head. But if I got that... Not much. It's very, very small. What is SOD2? Uh, State of Decay 2. A post-apocalyptic zombie. Ooh, we got our scav. Let's go in with our scav. Let's do another customs with a scav. I just started to get into State of Decay 2. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. It just, it just lacks a lot of end-game content currently because... Once you play through it, you get your leaders, your boons for your leaders all done at that point. There's not a lot to do. There's not a lot to do. This game, like from when you start, like where I'm at now, all the grinding to get um, like your character skills up. Because there's a bunch of skills in this game too, like crazy skills. Like um, there is strength, which allows you to run faster, jump higher, hit harder. There's endurance, which makes it so you can sprint longer before your dude gets winded. Um, like, I'll show them to you here in a sec. Where we spawn at? Ooh, this is a bad spawn. But I'll show them to you real quick. Here's all the skills. You have endurance, strength, health, vitality, stress resistance, metabolism, perception, immunity, intellect, attention, charisma, memory. And these are all the ones you can currently level up. There's a lot more planned for the full release. And then there's all of the different weapons and stuff, masteries and stuff that you can get. Gotta inspect. I haven't had this magazine yet.
time is it in here? 45? Ooh, not good. Spawned in as a scav, but the game's not that old. Love your channel? Yo, thanks, bro. This is just something new. Something new that's on the channel that, uh... That was, I think that was somebody right there. That's a scav. See, when I'm a scav, the other scavs are friendly. shots from the other side. Rubles. Money. Oh, that's right. I'm a scab. I don't have a protector case to put it in. It's like the flashlight on the gun. That rifle, 7.62 by 39. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 5.45. 5.45 by 39. Try to get up here and move these containers real quick. Maybe I'll get something good. It's an M4 receiver, M4 carbine. That's yeah, a laser and another AK. Um, on the gun that back up take the M4 receiver flashlight on it right now. I just want the laser. Damn, you're up early? Yeah, I couldn't go back to sleep, man. My kid woke me up. My newborn, I fed my newborn son, and uh, I was going to go lay on the couch and go back to sleep, but I was too awake. So I figured I'd jump on and play something different, maybe. Take all this stuff, because I need it. Sounds like I think it could be an option as well. Keep up the good work. Yo, thanks, bro. Yeah, that'd be cool to play as a Sasquatch. Does you play as a Red Talon soldier? Like, how could they not make it so you play as Sasquatch? I mean, that would be the perfect, perfect DLC to get people hyped. Like, oh, by the way, you get to play as Sasquatch. Everybody would like freak. a dead body over there. MRE. That give me hydration? It does. Yeah, that's a dead body.
Let's go check out the dead body. You should 100% do a pistol only run. Uh, it's hard enough to get kills with this gun, let alone a pistol. <laughs> you should. Uh, a couple raids ago, I went up against a fully geared guy on this map, and uh, he slaughtered me. I think that's just a scav. Yeah, somebody took out the sniper scav. Yeah, he, uh, he's up on the roof. That guy that I just looted, he's normally up on the roof, and he kind of, like, overwatches the whole area. So, a PMC, or a real player, that had a really nice gun, yeah, picked him off. Just so that he wouldn't get shot at. But, yeah, SKS is a beast. This shoots 7.62 by 39. This does. Okay, so that was a grenade over... By the middle of the map. See, what's nice is right now is I'm still friends with the with the scavs, so the scavs won't shoot me. But uh, get somewhere high? No, there's there's not really anywhere high that I can get to. See, those are scavs. That door's still closed. These are scavs. These guys are my friends right now, so. Yeah, I can, like, roll right up in here, and they're friendly. grip four shot mm, that's another magazine that I don't really need skeleton crew yo what up my dude what oh that's a mount that's a mount for like a uh, night vision optic But what's nice is I can go around in here and loot over here, and if the scavs, if somebody comes up on us, the scavs will let me know, because the scavs will start shooting at him. Yeah, I know where all, like, the little loot containers and stuff are. Just hang with the scavs. I think I can get, I can, like, get them to follow. Ooh. Um, the problem is... This. Painkillers. Need those. Need these. Problem is, I'm gonna when I go to shoot, I go to reload, and my dude's gonna drop the magazine because there's nowhere to put the magazine. See how my in my inventory is completely full. So when I go to reload one of these weapons that have a, a two slot magazine, it's gonna drop it because I don't have anywhere to put it. Is this game on Xbox One? No, it's only on PC. First aid? Yeah, buddy. I got it tied here, so we're good. Like, the SKS hits harder, but I almost want to rock the AK-74U. Just because I, had, it's, it's, I can put it in full auto. And for right now, I am. Yeah, I wish this game was on Xbox. The only Xbox console that uh, 
could run this would be the Xbox One X, and it would look nowhere near as good, just because there's so many matte ground features and stuff in here. This is where it gets intense. Are you going to be covering Dying Light 2? Yes, I've been meaning to make a video on it, I just haven't had time. Legs got grazed on that barbed wire. Just scab over to my right. Yes, barbed wire hurts you. And it's strategically placed. Okay, that's a scav. Why is he... Worries me a little bit that he walked back that way. That would rock kill or at least be able to switch out optics. Yeah, I'll show you guys the weapon modifications that you can do like in your stash. Here in a sec. Hopefully I can make it out of here alive. any of the good keys either because you can like unlock that door and there's a weapons case up there that spawns really good loot see I heard gunshots and I heard grenades and stuff going off but that could have been people that were on their way out see I got sniper roadblock trailer park worker shack warehouse 17 I think warehouse is I could get out of the raid right now, I think. Yeah, that's factory shacks. But we're gonna extract. Alright, here we go. So we got out of one with a live. We got one out with a live. We got we got out of a raid alive. How do you leave the game without dying? There you go. That is exactly how you leave the raid without dying. There's certain spots around the map that allow you to extract, and then it takes you back to the main menu, and I, this was a scav raid, so now I gotta drag all this stuff over. So that's everything I got from that raid. Boom. So, I'm gonna show you guys the difference, because um, I actually have a fully kitted weapon. So, modding. So here's the weapon. There's everything you can do to it. You can put, you obviously need a different mount on top of this to be able to put an attachment on it and stuff. But you can swap out your dust cover. You can do all this stuff. You Obviously, this has got a laser on this side. It's got the front grip, so you could put a foregrip underneath. You could put a flashlight over here on this side, which it already had. You can swap out the stock, the pistol grip. You can add different extensions to the stock to put new stuff on it. You can add a thread here. You can see how it's threaded. You could put a suppressor on the end of the barrel. Yeah. This is the modifications. So this is basically what the gun looks like after I turn all that stuff off. You can mod all that stuff. Obviously your functional mods, equipment mods, so you can swap out, like I said, the stock, all sorts of cool stuff. So that's an AK-74U that barely has anything on it. Now I will show you, this is an M4, a fully modded M4. 
Now, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed. This is, this, look at, I mean, this gun is completely decked, fully decked to the teeth. This was actually a weapon that they gave all of the people um, a gift for Christmas. Um, and the last update, they made it so that you could still get this. So this is all the attachments you can see. As a fully customized, like everything on this is absolutely geared to the teeth. I'm going to turn all these off so you can kind of see like the physical model of the weapon. See, it's got a laser on the side, a flashlight underneath, a 60-round magazine, a custom foregrip, a custom pistol grip, a custom stock, a actual like a Bravo scope here with a canted sight. So you can see here, when you're aiming down sight with this scope, you can push like right click or uh, another mouse button and it'll tilt your gun over so you can look down this sight. I mean, this is... This is like a fully decked to the teeth weapon. Like absolutely. Yeah, this this is definitely this would definitely be red talon gear. Definitely red talon gear. So, and then you have like your basic AK74, you know, just your AK7. This is I mean, this is a basic weapon and this is all the things that you can customize on it. Like you can put a uh, a soft butt stock on the end here, a rubber butt pad on the back so it re uh, reduces recoil. Um all this stuff. So, but yeah, let's do a pistol run. You guys want to do a pistol run? Let's do a pistol run. And then here's like an AKM, an AKM assault rifle. Like this thing is a, a, an absolute beast. And you can see all the different stuff, stuff that you can put on this weapon. It's legit. It's legit, man. So 16 minutes on another scav and he'll be a shotgun scav. So let's jump in. Um, you guys want to see a different map? I'm not going to do Interchange because I don't know that map. That's a new map that I haven't played yet. Um, let's do Shoreline. I'm going to do Shoreline. I need to bring water, though. The Shoreline's a really big map. That way, if I get, I'm in there a long time, I won't get dehydrated. But Shoreline has the best chance of getting loot. Forgot about Shoreline. I should have did Shoreline. There we go. Factory? Dude, I'm not gonna, Factory, there's, I, I don't have Comtax, and everybody just chills with Comtax. Any advice about a gaming PC? You don't need to get the best of everything to be able to run games like this. Like my gaming, hold on. I hope this doesn't mess anything up. You can see... That's my gaming PC. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's nothing fancy. I mean, it's it cost me about two grand, I think it was. Two grand. Just show my green screen. There we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you don't have to get the high end, like super high end everything. Like, you don't need, I have an NVIDIA GeForce uh, 1080, just a graphics card, a 1080, not a TI, just a straight 1080, um, a Ryzen 1700X CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, um, some onboard stuff, nothing, nothing too crazy fancy. That's all I need. And I can run this thing on high graphics, no frame rate drops, you know, smooth, smooth as a baby's bottom. So, if you aren't in a huge hurry, just wait for decent products to go on sale. Yeah, 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 do that. Yeah, if you're not in a big hurry. Okay. So, this is, like, the largest map in the game currently. And all I have is a pistol, so... And I'm a PMC... So, scavs are the enemy this time. Oh my god. Rip.
He heard me. That's why he got out of the he got out of the case and turned around. Fuck okay. it. Let's just go on a hatchet run. Maybe we'll find something. Hatchet run on shoreline. Just for those of you guys that don't know Tarkov, a hatchet run is basically obviously I have a hatchet. I'm going in with no weapon, no nothing, just hatchet. What's cool is, is if I sneak up on somebody and I get them to turn around and I hit them in the face. Even if they're fully geared, if their face is showing, I can get one good hit on their face. I'll, I can kill them. So. He had some gear too, but I, I, sh I should have went for his legs. That's the other thing in this game. If you go for their legs, because there's no armor on your legs in this game. The leg meta. You can you can kill a fully geared guy with like four or five shots to the legs because if you shoot him like two or three times in one leg, that limb will be blacked out. So when if you are killed by a hatchet, does that make you a hack? No. But yeah, if you if you shoot somebody and and, and it like you kill that limb, it'll turn it black. And if they if you shoot that limb again when it's black. It basically distributes all that damage that you put on that leg across the entire body evenly. So if you do like 30 damage to that limb, it'll give the entire body 30 damage. So once you blacken, um, if you shoot somebody two or three times in the leg, that'll blacken that leg. And then if you put like one or two more shots into that leg, it's probably going to kill them. So if I could put five or six shots with that pistol into the same leg without... Him turning and shooting me, <laughs> I can kill him. That's what I should have did because he was sitting still. I tried to just get closer and was going to wait for him to turn around and try to shoot him in the face, but I was too far away. Dude, play the new Five Nights at Freddy game? Fuck that. You want to see somebody sh piss their pants? Watch me play some Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah, because if you lose too much blood or you take too much damage in a specific body part, it'll basically be dead. It'll be blacked out. So, and then before, how the game used to work is if you had like a blackened arm, for instance, or a blackened leg for that matter, it doesn't really matter. Um, if somebody shot you in that limb one time, you were dead. Automatically, it would kill you. But they changed it because a lot of people were upset with that mechanic, which it wasn't a very good mechanic. Um, now it's distributed like across the entire body. And I think I might have to leave this because it's synchronizing with other players and it's been stuck at 86%. Sucks. Play Rust? If anything, I would play DayZ. I'm a DayZ guy. Five Nights at Freddy's isn't scary? What? Hold on a sec, guys. Is this game PvP or PvE? Both. More actual PvP, if anything. I had to restart my game, guys. For some reason it froze. So you go into these... It's an, it's an instance-based survival shooter. So it's not like DayZ, where you have this giant, massive open-world map. There's smaller maps that are raids that you spawn in. You try to get as much loot, kill other people, find supplies and get out alive by getting to one of the extraction zones that are in the map. There's like three or four of them usually in a map where you can extract. That's the character still in raid. Of course he is. 
so that's the premises and then um for those of you guys that are like been around on the channel you've noticed that i started covering a game that's coming to console very soon called vigor the same concept it's a instance based survival shooter so you take in gear on these smaller maps go up against other players and try to find resources and stuff to be able to um fix up your base because in that game currently there's actually going to be a like a like a log cabin in the woods i guess you could say where you can improve it make it so you can obviously get better items craft better items that kind of thing so um this game is going to eventually have that feature and it's called the hideout where you're going to be able to go into raids and stuff find resources and stuff to trick out your hideout but that hasn't came yet but vigor is basically the same concept as this game except it's a third person over like the behind the camera or whatever you said it's third person and it's a it's the same concept it's just made by a different company they're shooting for the same thing yo hops tech what's up man it has been a while my do my new my newborn son woke up early this morning um so i couldn't go back to sleep or i guess i could have i could have went back to sleep but it was like three o'clock and i was like should i go back to sleep for an hour or so or should i get up and do a live stream an early bird live stream so i decided to jump on and play some escape from tarkov because um the majority of the community hasn't really seen it synchronizing with other players i think it the game is screwed right now is it not even gonna let me go back am i gonna have to do this again This is annoying. Bear with me here, guys. Try this one more time. I'm going to go to a different map. Unless our scav is up. If our scav is up, I will try to scav in to shoreline. Because that's literally the best scenario, is to scav into shoreline and try to find loot. If we can get over to the big health resort building, because you get a lot of PvP over there where fully geared guys will kill each other, and they'll just be laying there dead um, with crazy loot on them. Excuse me. Scav is in five minutes. Let's do a hatchet run on customs. When you die, do you lose all of your gear? Yes, that is on you. So for instance, all of your stuff that's in your inventory, currently I don't have anything in my inventory except my melee weapon. So you don't lose your melee weapon. That's There's two things that stay on your character at all times, and that is your melee weapon as well as I'll, I'll show you when I get into the raid, there's a protector case. I have the gamma container, which holds nine inventory slots, and whatever I put in that container, if I die, I don't lose. I don't lose the container, and I don't lose the contents of that container. So what's really crazy is you can break down an M4. You can break down an M4 and put it you can take like the stock off of it, take the end of it off, and you can fit it in your gamma container. So. You can insure all your gear, and if nobody, if nobody finds it. Where the fuck? This is a weird spawn. And the raid just started. So I'm going to try to get as far as I can away from the main spawns. This was a really good spawn. I didn't even know that was a spawn. I'm going to try to get as far away from the spawns as I can. Because I don't want to get gunned down by a fully geared guy when all I have is a hatchet. Oh, 
No, I'm out of bullets. Oh my fucking god. I hate the new mechanics in this game. I really do. It makes it so much more hardcore. The first guy, I couldn't kill him because I ran out of stamina. And every time you hit somebody with a hatchet, it takes some of your stamina. And then I heard that other guy walking up on me. And I didn't have enough time to loot the dude's vest. Because the dude's vest had the ammo in it. Do scab NPCs collect gear or spawn with decent gear? Yeah, they spawn sometimes. They don't spawn with very... The gear they spawn with isn't very good. It's pretty basic. But... Damn it. 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Um... Fuck it. I had to do something, what did I miss? Uh, you missed me kill a scavenger with a hatchet and then get mowed down by his buddy. <laughs> to be in, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Game request denied. Uh, what's a, a secret laboratory? I don't even know what that is. So. I'm actually going to wait for my scav raid to be up and then we'll go on to shoreline. M4 upper receiver. That's the most expensive part of the M4, so. The money. We got meds. We got that. It's a game on Steam. I might have to check it out. I think for the most part on the channel, I'm going to be sticking to survival shooters. Um, DayZ, Dead Matter, Escape from Tarkov, State of Decay, Vigor, Dying Light 2. Those kind of games. I'm definitely going to be playing Dying Light 2. Yo, Highland Bricks, what's up, man? Good morning. Depending on where you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Currently, it's 4.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time where I live, so. so. Let's jump in. My scav raid will be available here in like two seconds. And we're going to go on to Shoreline. Yeah, this is definitely a rare time for me to stream, but my newborn son woke up at like 2.30, and I fed him. <sighs> I fed him, and then I was like, because I have to usually get up around 4.30 or so, um, I have my alarms and stuff set on my phone, so I didn't want to wake my newborn son up because he's actually sleeping in the bedroom with me and my wife. So I usually, after his last feeding, I will go out, on the couch and I will take like a little power nap before I have to get up this morning it was like go back to sleep for a little bit or get up and play some video games and so I figured I would try something new and stream some escape from Tarkov on the channel do you have to wait when you die no the scav the scavenger you can spawn in as a scavenger roughly every 15 minutes so if you're if you're playing as a scavenger like I am now and I die I won't be able to play as a scavenger again for 15 minutes, but my PMC, my main character, I can go into raid after raid after raid after raid. It does. There's no like cooldown timer if you die or anything. You just lose all the gear that's on your character when you die. And like I said, guys, if you guys enjoy this game and you guys want to see some more stuff on this game, make sure you know give the video a thumbs up, give the stream a thumbs up. Because this is definitely a game that I would like to cover 
and that I would like to play on the channel because it's just a very, very unique game. Um, so let me know your thoughts. It's an online game where two teams enter a facility and try to rescue the other two teams while avoiding the SPCs. Oh, sounds legit. It's actually a good spawn too. Damn, no meds. Takes a lot of skill. Yeah, and that's the thing is, is you're watching me at my worst because I used to play this game. So, oh. That was weird. The second one's good, but the first one had some really cool features that I'm kind of upset that aren't in the game. a player did they kill him lone wolf oh no yes lone wolf thank you for the sub man that was a pistol guy where the fuck did he go that's weird Using slugs or buckshot? Uh, buckshot. Slugs would be gray. Red buckshot. Optimize my inventory here. I believe you have to examine the box and the ammo. Why are they standing there and not shooting? Uh, because I'm a scav. I'm a scavenger. I'm the same as those guys, so as long as I don't shoot them, they're friendly. The second I shoot one of the scavs, I mean, I could probably try to melee kill them both, but I'd rather not. Because then the rest of... Like, there's like a certain perimeter around them. So if I kill them, and there's another scav close, that other scav will turn hostile. Basically. So, the ideal situation there would be is to be playing with another player. Like, two of us playing. And then we could each melee kill one of those two scavs, take the stuff that they had on them, and then this other scavs in the world would still be friendly because they wouldn't know that we killed them, basically. God, that dude scared the crap out of me. The trick is, is like in that situation right there, don't shoot. It's so hard not to. It's very hard not to shoot. Money, money. Crackers, we need water.
And these are hydration, because you can see my hydration is at 86. When I spawned in, it was at 100. So the longer you're in a raid, the more your hydration goes down. If your hydration hits zero, you will slowly start dying. Condensed milk. No bueno. That's going to take away hydration. I go up here and see if there's a gun on the table up here. Nope. That's a good find. That is some five five six. And a bandage. That's a very good key, according to Deadly Slob. West Ring 218. Try to get out with that key, that'd be nice. Money, money. That's what sucks. There's no way to like actually use an item without putting it in your inventory. I think that's the thing that they need to do, especially for uh, like consumables, like stuff that you can drink and whatnot. I can get you some computer parts. What do I think about Fallout 76? Looks good. Looks cool. So what do you do for a living? Or is it YouTube enough? Oh, I wish YouTube was enough. No, I work uh, full-time commercial construction. I build stuff. This morning, I actually have to go pick up a door, uh, a new door, and in in install a new door for somebody. Oh, nice. USD. I really need to do is go kill one of those scavs and take a backpack because there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of good loot. I don't have room for. Like these, these are really good. Money. I'd like to search those computers too because like a CPU in those computers sells for $10,000. But I don't have any inventory space. Might do that. Might go try to kill a scav.
This might go bad. <laughs> I didn't even realize the guy that I killed didn't have a backpack. <laughs> Fail. Sounds like hard work. Yeah, it is. Kind of sucks. The desync and the lag right there. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I don't know. What time is it? 4.52? That's time for one more. We're gonna go in with the AK. Fuck it. PMC. Let's just go in on factory. Do a quick factory run, I'm probably gonna die. But it is what it is. This is gonna be my last one, then I'm probably gonna have to jump off, guys. I gotta get my, uh, I gotta get my three-year-old up for school. I gotta get him up for daycare, and then I gotta get around for work. So, this is probably gonna be my last raid. This is something different. I thought I would, like I said, I didn't want to go back to sleep. So I thought I would jump on and stream some Tarkov, because it's something that I haven't really streamed on the channel before. Some of you guys made some of you guys never even heard of it, so this is a decent spawn. God, dude, you can't hear anybody. That's such bullshit. Like, what did they change with the footsteps? You can't hear anybody. Jesus, that is crazy. That dude walked right up on me. I never even heard him. That makes no sense. Fuck that. We're not. We're doing one more. We're doing one more. Let's take it an MP5. Sorry for the rage, but that's that's weird. Used to be, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. That's just it, though. Like I said, I did not hear that guy at all. That's weird. I need a skier. Do you have a vest? Who's got the vest? Peacekeeper? Peacekeeper's got the vest. Um, I know I had a mag. Do I have a... Let's take in a backpack, too. A little guy from Ragman. I guess I could have got it from him. Let's buy a hat too. Hell with it. So 
some meds. We got meds. Only got one magazine. Can I buy nine mil? I'm gonna put that in my protector though. Just ensure it all. Tarkov will do that to you. You need body armor, mate. Dude, I know. I know I need body armor. Is there a wipe? No. There is not a wipe. I literally haven't played this game since before my newborn son was born. And he is like two and a half months old. So it's been almost three months since I played this game. I used to be really, really good at it. Really good at it. I know I need armor, but I don't start with any armor and I don't I don't I actually have no access to any armor except a helmet, a very crappy helmet. So stay crouched. Uh yeah, I don't like going super duper slow on factory though. I'm used to going into factory with like a fort and a fast MT, which are like some of the best armor in the game. Going in there with like an M4, fort, fast MT, and just slaughtering everybody. That's what I'm used to, because that's what I used to do. Me and a couple mates would go in there and just lock down the factory. We'd kill all the PMCs, and then we'd just grind out the scavs and just kill all the, the NPCs. And then when, like, the player scavs and stuff spawned in, we would just kill all of those guys, too. And we would just sit in there and just kill, 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 kill for, like, an hour. Like, the full raid. Terrible spawn. Yo, Jared, take care, buddy. Or no, Holland Bricks. Holland Bricks. I'm out, A Squad. Enjoy your SOD. If you have any chance to play through SOD 1? Maybe. Good job on the State of Decay expansion breakdown video, dude. Didn't have time to read the patch notes myself, but yeah. You work at Samsung? Does that make you a guardian of the galaxy? Maybe. <laughs> I know I heard somebody over here. Somebody just died. Ah! Fucking auto aim by those scavs.
What the fuck, dude? I'm done. I'm done. He didn't have a helmet on. He had chest armor on, but he didn't have a helmet on, and none of those shots hit him in the face. I'm done. All right, guys. Ugh. That's gonna do it for the Escape from Tarkov live stream this morning. I gotta go get my. Uh, I gotta go get my boy up. I gotta get him up for school, and I gotta go to work. Unfortunately, it's supposed to be like 96 degrees outside today with a heat index of like 105, so it's not going to be fun. But um, I will try to have some sort of a video up on the channel later today. If not, we will definitely have something up on the channel tomorrow. So for those of you guys that uh, got up early bird and watched the live stream this morning, appreciate it, guys. Um, definitely try to play some more Escape from Tarkov on the channel in the future. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it for today's live stream. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like. And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Take care.